After decades of conflict, now they're friends. Tori Sangarita is a victim. Guillermo Pavón, a former member of the feared right-wing paramilitary group, Bloque Central Bolívar. They are part of a pilot program that experts hope will be a model for reconciliation. When I was in the armed group, I would say hi to Doris, but she would always keep a distance. Now it's totally different. She trusts me. Under the new initiative, former fighters are reintegrated into society and work to remedy their wrongs. It's a crucial part of the peace process, giving the lands back to the people, restoring democratic security, putting the perpetrators of the armed conflict on the sidelines. That's their mission. Controlling land has been a key goal for Colombia's illegal armed groups. Our militaries terrorized millions and stole their lands. President Juan Manuel Santos has promised to hand most of it back. But right-wing death squads, which had supposedly demobilized, still operate in the countryside, despite a peace deal with the government. The village of Monterrey is a ghost town, with two-thirds of its population too scared to return, the others traumatized by what they saw there. Avelino Hernández shows us the old paramilitary headquarters. Thousands disappeared after being taken here. You would hear people screaming. It was so frustrating not to be able to do anything about it. During the so-called rule of terror, which lasted for about eight years here, the paramilitary group or death squad, which was in control of this area, would bring their victims all the way from the town up to the zone. They were shackled to poles like this until the commander would decide if they would live or die. The Monterrey scheme worked where others failed. Now the land won't belong to individuals, but the whole community. And that makes it harder for armed groups to target them. Tobias Uribe survived after being taken to the torture chambers. It's so hard to remember that day when they took me on what was known as the last ride. I thought about my family, my wife, and said to myself, this is it, but I was spared. Now he lives in what was the paramilitary warlord's ranch. He plans to use the government's reparation funds to make the place somewhere that can be used by the whole community. Somewhere they're no longer scared to go, but can enjoy. Monica Villamizar, Al Jazeera, Monterrey, Colombia.